akiwa ametoka shagwa na wameka ODM na ODM wameingia what is the purpose of election so i'm calling upon kenyans under the bill of rights let this nation go down if it must but if we if we if we blink at this motion at this moment in history let nobody say Tony Gashoka never said it this is the darkest moment in the history of this nation when elections mean nothing when abductions when baba is the escort of of this guy called Ruto when this political class an IGO police cannot agree or obey a court order. They shoot our children like goats. And then we sit here and we agree. They reconstitute the cabinet. And now we are waiting that they, I don't know, appoint a new DP. Or, and they are saying Dwale or Sudi. They are playing with our minds against our tribes and against our conscience. I want to announce to Kenyans that the purpose of the amendment of the constitutional uh, party's political bill of 2021 was to bring into focus the need of coalitions before elections and after elections. My fellow Kenyans, the issue of tribalism, the issue surrounding gender, and thank God now that of the younger people of our nation, our children, is coming up. So the amendment bill or the, or the political party's amendment bill was being brought so that Kenyans before they go to an election would expect of their leaders or prospective leaders to agree on the formation of coalition parties or coalition agreements. And the idea was that the contest is very complicated unless the people not only can elect parties or leaders, but can hold them to account. The law requires that once coalitions before an election, during an election and after an election are made, at some point before and after are deposited at the political party registrar. And all these are to stop political appetite of greed, to stop the kind of nonsense we are seeing now was anticipated by the Political Parties Act. In other words, you are electing oranges and inheriting melons. I must announce to this country, we have a serious problem because the parties that stood at the general election of 2022 as either parties of a coalition or coalition of parties, the parties that are now bringing problems to this nation, none of them are complying with the Political Parties Act none of them were held to an election by which the people of Kenya, in their majority or their minority, voted. We were presented in this nation with Mama Nababa against Ruto Nagashagwa. We are now dealing with Ruto Nababa Nagashagwa Wamepadlizana. Akuna Mama, Akuna Baba. How is it possible that 16 million Kenyans, their votes mean nothing? Their votes mean nothing. That you don't go to Raila Odinga position at the AU, you decide tomorrow you sack your DP, your William Ruto, and 16 million people mean nothing. Look, I have decided today as Tony Gashoka, and I'm telling you people, if you don't want to do anything, I don't care if you don't want to do it. It is not possible. It is unconstitutional. It is illegal. It is devoid of logic. It's nonsensical. Why did we go to elections? How can we go to elections in this nation? How can we wake up, my mother and my children and all of us, to elect Raila when we are electing Ruto? Then Ruta and Raila are together. I love what to change the game. Ati wametuaka shagwa na wameka UDM na UDM wameingia. What is the purposes of election? 
So I'm calling upon Kenyans under the Bill of Rights. Let this nation go down if it must. But if we, if we, if we blink at this motion, at this moment in history, let nobody say Tony Gashoka never said it. This is the darkest moment in the history of this nation. When elections mean nothing, when abductions, when Baba is the escort of, of this guy called Ruto, when this political class, an IG or police cannot agree or obey a court order, they shoot our children like goats. And then we sit here and we agree. They reconstitute the cabinet. And now we are waiting that they, I don't know, appoint a new DP. Or, and they are saying Dwale or Sudi. They are playing with our minds against our tribes and against our conscience. Yet we elected them separately. So me, I want to say this, and I want to say this clearly for those who want it to be heard. You, Raila Odinga, and you, Kalonzo Musioka, and all of you who have been in this politics, I'm giving you a deadline. Those who are in the opposition and those who are in government, we are no longer begging anyone. We cannot allow this country to be raped when we have the Bill of Rights. And this is true. There are many who have died. That is true. But why I want to talk today very loudly, where were, uh, William Ruto, I'm talking to you. I met you in my house when you were a boy. Where were Ruto? Mimi Gashoka na kwambia. Wacha Wanjiki talks every day when he met you. I met you when you were a boy. And I'm telling you, come for me. Stop going for Murala. Stop going. You come for me if you're a man. Na mimi na kuambia leo, mimi na tangaza ni mekata. Na kama munataka kikitu kiumane, wacha kiumane sasa. I want to test the capital of Tony Gashoka in Kenya. So William Ruto, this is a public announcement to you. It's a public announcement to you, Raila Odinga. Hey, munachikua utoto sisi, munachikua kama sisi ni watoto. Na mimi nasema hivi, please listen and write what I'm saying. Under the Bill of Rights, I am sacrificing a total war. Na wewe kalonzo, wewe wamalo, I don't need your help. Mukae, passengers, mukae, biria shaurienyu. Lakini mimi nasema what I saw with Gashagwa. Vila muna patisha mambo one hour. Mutakuja ku extend this parliament. Hawa watote yengu mweoa tukiona. Alafu mini nyamaze. Apana, I am announcing a national crisis. I am announcing a rape of the constitution of Kenya. I am saying this is an abrogation of the will of the people as captured in chapter four. And I am asking that Kenyans on an online petition, wherever you are here or in the diaspora, one and all, you must append your signature and you must bring to account, including the judiciary, not limited to parliament, not limited to anybody but yourself. The sovereign will of the people of Kenya has been violated. We went to elections that have been cancelled by a president and an opposition leader called Raila Odinga. The ODM led the massacre against Gashagwa, the man who had led traps in State House. Those traps were for the people of Kenya. There is nowhere where Kenyans are involved. It is Raila versus Gashagwa versus Ruto. Why did we vote? Why should we stand and vote in this place? So peace. No. Na uliza we swali, uliona ama ukuona in two hours, vile wazwe. I want. Sasa, mimi na kuambia, iyo ina, ebu skiza, inaitu wa kichinjio, uliona ama ukuona. I if Ruto comes I with a question and a motion there to extend parliament for seven years, and the Uwetangula puts the question, what will happen? Anyway, kama iyo ndiyo swali unaniuliza, Tony, uh, Tony. Is it, is it, let, let me let me answer that question. That question has been asked by very many people. How to impeach an MP? It's there in the constitution, but it's a very complicated matter which ends up in parliament. So anything can stick through parliament, you will not win. That number number two, IBC is not properly. We do not have an IBC. So why would you want anything that brings in IBC? It can't work. We must Tony, have... Have give hope. Tony, Tony, good. So can I give hope why I'm doing two spaces in one day? 
You know, Paul Mwite is the lead counsel wa Gashagwa juu. Ukienda kwa Mwite unajua kila kitu imeenda. Ili kuenda kuchoma nyumba na kuchoma eh, foundation. Then, that unaweza sasa ban scotch arch policy. Unasikia Tony? Tony, unanisikia? Yes, yes, I hear you, CG. So what I'm telling the people of Kenya, we can use the Gashagwa execution, the window of the Gashagwa execution. I think we have a maximum of seven days to save Kenya. Because Gashagwa, uh, as I understand it, on Thursday, the, the, the Senate will impeach him. Then there will be days for which his lawyers will file a motion in court. Wakenya Munaniskiza. And they will ask for an, an injunction for him to go or not to go. As I know it, two scenarios will happen. A Gazette notice will be published on the night of Thursday. Alafu ataapishwa kindiki kindiki on Thursday morning before the courts wake up. I'm told that while he offered Digi Nyoro a queer minister of interior, Amekata, I don't know if it's true or not, to appease Mount Kenya. This guy is not sleeping. He's working to disrupt the constitutional order. But uyu gashagu amesema choma nyumba choma mama. Sasa mimi nasema, let us use his misfortune. Let us turn as Kenyans the focus back to, back to this ruto. Muliko mumeanza, choma dereva, choma makanga. Na iyo ilimstua. And now we are going back now to wait like kama tumelala. Na mimi nawambia mukikubali tukue na petition. Na tuanze kuweka focus on ruto. When the judiciary now must also listen to us because there is a constitutional crisis, then we can put the people against the judiciary and parliament. And Gashagua and them can do their game. But we use the opportunity of the chaos. The enemy of your enemy is my friend. Kenyans, wake up. Don't let Ruto finish Gashagua. Let Gashagua become the, the guy who can even remove a bomb to finish this Zakayo. This time, let us be available. Let him shoot Gashagua and shoot us. Ata wacha Gashagua kuje pali ya menmachi, tupigwe risasi na ee. Ili tuwezana ina razakayo.